We're in lab 7, tissue 1. In this lab, you need to identify the different kind of epithelium tissue. Like I will give you a slice and you need to be able to tell me what kind of epithelium tissue it is. So first one, simple squamous. And I use these pictures from the textbook. And during the test, I will use the, the very uh, textbook style picture, the one you can easily, easily tell. Uh, two sides. The first one is in the lung. So the lung is those uh, alveoli. These are the simple squamous epithelium tissue. So this is a simple squamous. This is one layer and it's flat. And this in your kidney. The kidney you have a lot of uh, nephron. These are the filter tubes in the kidney. And the head part, there's the glomerulus. And this one. So oh, during the test, I will point this one. I will ask you what kind of epithelium tissue it is. And the answer will be the simple squamous. So two words, simple squamous. Now let's look at the simple cuboidal. So all these pictures still from the textbook. Simple cuboidal, one layer, and it's cube shape. So during the test, I will point at this, ask you what kind of epithelium tissue it is. So every time you look at the, the size, you always have more than one kind of tissue uh, because they, they come from organ and organs are made of a lot of tissue a lot of tissues so you need to know where to look at and it takes practice you it, it just, it just takes practice so during the test I will very specifically point at the tissue I, I'm going to ask you I, I'll ask you this one so these are the tubes in the kidney and they extend out in this direction so we cut it and this is the simple squamous one layer and it's square shape. So two words, oh, sorry, simple cuboidal, simple cuboidal. And this is cube shape, simple cuboidal. Next one, simple columnar. So I will point at this cell, ask you what kind of cell it is, what kind of epithelium it is. So this is one layer and it's long shaped, so simple columnar epithelium. Next one, pseudo stratified columnar. So pseudostratified columnar, uh, you find them in your airway. So they look like a multiple layer, but all of them attach to the basement membrane. So it's actually one layer. And also in the airway, you have those cilia. So another characteristic, I give you a slice. The slice must come from the airway. And you found what well, it look like a multiple layer is stratified columnar, but you notice well, first, they look suspicious. It's not that uh, multiple layer, and actually all of them attached to the basement membrane. Then you look at the cilia, and it's almost guaranteed this come from the airway. So this is the pseudo-stratified columnar. That will be the correct answer. Now, next one, next one stratified squamous, carotenized stratified squamous. So this is your skin. And it's, it's definitely multiple layer, and they're squamous, and you found that carotenized. So these are the carotenized squamous. And that's non carotenized stratified squamous. So it's multiple layer, and it's non carotenized. And the last one, transitional. So transitional is it's multiple layer but the number of layer change, and you won't be able to see the number of layer change on the microscope, but you can kind of use the shape. They have those like uh, cuboidal shape, those bubble shape. And this is from the blader. So this is a muscle, this is smooth muscle. I'm not asking you this. So during the test, I will point it here, ask you what kind of epithelium, and the answer will be transitional. So they have those bubble shape, and it's multiple layers, so it's, it's a unique uh, multiple layer one called transitional. Okay, so that's lamp seven. And let's look at lamp eight. So lamp eight, we are looking at tissue two. So tissue two, we are looking at uh, connective tissue. So you use your textbook, you use your, uh, if you purchase the atlas, uh, the one I recommended, uh, not required and uh, they have a lot of pictures tell you different kind of tissue. And the, during the test, I'll give you a picture, ask you what kind of connected tissue it is. So the first one, areoli. Areoli is a loose connected tissue. So first you found not too many fiber, and these fiber are irregular. 
So this is areola connected tissue. Next one, adipose. So I told you adipose are very easy to identify because they look like bubble. So all these bubble inside they are they're fat and being washed out by alcohol. So they have a lot of empty bubble. They are adipose tissue. So if I point at this one as you what kind of connected tissue it is, adipose. Next one, reticular. So reticular uh it looks like cherry blossom. So if I give you a picture, ask you what kind of connective tissue it is, and you look like cherry blossom, so it's still a loose connective tissue, and the answer will be reticular. Now let's look at some dense connective tissue. So we have the dense irregular, so all this picture is still from your textbook, dense irregular, and they have a lot of fiber, but they are irregular shape compared with the dense regular. So these are from the tendon and ligaments, and the fiber line up pretty well. So this is dense regular. And elastic, elastic has, has a lot of elastic fiber. So all this dark color are elastic fiber. And these are the characteristic of elastic connective tissue. Okay, now let's look at the cartilage. We have three different kinds of cartilage. The first one, the most common one, is called the hiding cartilage. And cartilage have the chondrocyte, that's the cell. They stay in lacunae. So if you see the, the lacunae structure, the chondrocyte stay in the lacunae, you know that's a cartilage. And the hiding cartilage has a lot of watery matrix. So this is a hiding cartilage. Compared with elastic cartilage, they still have those chondrocytes stay in the lacunae, stay in the lacunae. But elastic fiber, I told you, elastic fiber, their color are very dark after staining. So you look at this, you know, oh, this, these are the chondrocytes stay in the lacunae. And you see the elastic fiber. So this, this must be the elastic cartilage. So if I ask you what kind of connective tissue it is, and you look at this, you know it's elastic cartilage. And the last one, fibro cartilage. So they, their, their fiber are tough. Their fiber are tough. Uh, but they still have those uh, chondrocytes. This chondrocyte stay in the lacunae. So this tell you this is cartilage. And this is the tough one. So this is the fibro cartilage. The next one, the bone. So the bone stay in the osteum. This is one osteum. This is another osteum. And this small uh, look like cockroach. These are the actually the bone cells. Osteos, osteocyte. So this is one osteum. This is another osteum. And this is the central canal. Uh, in this lab, you don't need to identify those structure. You just need to tell me what kind of connective tissue it is. So if I give you these slides, ask you what kind of connective tissue, and the answer will be the bone. And the last one, blood. Blood is a very watery connective tissue. So these are the plasma. Plasma is mainly water, and these are the blood cells. So blood cells, 99.9% .9 red blood cell. So all these are the red blood cells. And these two are white blood cells. So if I give you these slides, ask you what kind of connective tissue it is, and this would be pretty easy. The answer would be the blood. Okay, that's it.